All right, we are up and on. Hi! So, uh, Ren was a little nervous of me in the beginning. Um, forgot a little bit who I was there for a second. That's okay, my feelings aren't hurt. I'm only gonna cry a little bit. Just kidding. Um, it's appropriate for his age. They go through fear periods. So, you know, things uh, tend to get scary where before, you know, it really didn't bother them. So, totally, totally normal. So today, we're gonna go over a lot of the stuff we did last time since we had a little poop incident. Yes, the poop incident was that actually we didn't have a poop incident. I wish there was a poop incident. I wish it came out of your butt. You were so distracted. Yes, you were. Okay, we're gonna go over, yeah, oh, hello! And you give me a sit. Let's see if we remember our stuff. Sit, good, down, up, down. All the way, good. There he tried to cheat on me, he was like, Mm, I'm halfway down. Does that count? No, it doesn't. It doesn't count. Oh my goodness. Um, we're gonna walk, talk about leash walking today. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna kind of review. We're gonna go over our leave it right now. All right, I'm walking over here. Leave it. Yes, good job. There I waited for him to make a decision before I gave him the reward. Uh, so there he was kind of walking forward and then he's like, I'll stop. I'll stop. Let's see if we can get a good one. Walking, walking, walking all over the house. Leave it. Ah, I didn't like that one. I thought he went out fast. Walking, walking, walking. Leave it. Yes. Good. That was tough. I saw you walking towards it. I'm just going to stop you there. I'm just going to stop you there, mister. My eyes on you. My eyes on you, mister. Ready? Do, 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 walking around. Leave it. Ah, uh -uh. I didn't like that one. Leave it. Yes, go boy. Very nice job. That was super good. He's like, okay, I got, I got this. Now. Let's do some running. Let's do some running. Leave it. You didn't even see it, so I'm gonna reward you anyway because you didn't go for it. Let's run. Let's run. Leave it. You didn't see it again. That's hilarious. Okay. Leave it. Yes. I would actually get something now um, different. We've been exchanging equal values, you know, cheese for cheese. Uh, but what? Hmm. What if I do something else? Okay. This way. This way. This way. This way. Leave it. Good! Very nice! Good job! That's a really smart boy. Let's go. Let's go, Ren. Let's go, Ren. We're running. Oh, we're running, Ren. We're running, we're running, we're running, we're running. Leave it. Yes! Nice! Awesome! His leave it's are spot on. Um, whew, how, how, I gotta breathe. Wait, Ren's like, you are crazy. Good job. So uh, now, how we amp this up to make it look more like real life is I'm only going to say leave it now after I've already dropped something. We've been telling him what's going to happen before we do it. We've been telling him, leave it. And he's like, okay, I know you're gonna drop a treat now. Well, how good is his reaction time going to be when I don't tell him ahead of time? Let's find out. I'm running, Ren. I'm running. Here we go. Leave it. Yes, very good. Actually, I actually almost said it before. My brain just worked there. Okay, we're running, we're running. Oh no, leave it. I don't even know where we're running. Good job, you didn't go for it. We're running, we're running, I'm carrying all this food. Oh no, it fell. Leave it. Very good. I love how I have to make it like a real life scenario. Oh, here, I'm holding all these treats. Oh no, leave it. That one rolled literally under his body, under his legs, in between his legs. That was amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna do another weird real life scenario. Oh, I have this dog food. Oh no, I'm walking so fast. It fell out. Leave it. Yes, very nice. He was already sitting though, so I'm gonna get one where he's moving. Oh, I have dog food and a bowl. Oh, leave it. Good job. You didn't even know what you did there, but I actually, that was for real, that accidentally came out. Leave it. That was so funny. I really hope that was on 
the video, it bounced and hit him in the mouth. And he was like, what? That was funny. That was hilarious. He's like, it should have bounced in your mouth. I'm sorry about that. Right? Leave it. Yes. Good choice. Good choice. So now how you want to practice this is we're going to pretend here. I'm going to be right here. And I'm uh, at the counter. And I'm cutting up food. I'm preparing it for dinner. Leave it. Uh-uh. There. That was a little bit more difficult. He went for it. We, he's just out of the picture right now. So here I'm preparing food. Leave it. Yes. Good choice. Awesome job. Okay, so we're at the counter, preparing dinner. Leave it. Yes. Very nice. Cutting dinner, cutting dinner. Oh no, something fell off the counter. Leave it. Yes, very nice. Awesome job. So that's, ow. You can't eat my finger. He's like, yes, I can. Um, that's how we're amping it up now. We are not going to set it up like a training session. Like you're standing in front of him. You're going to set up, he's not going to know it's a training session. You're going to set it up like real life. You're going to be maybe eating on the couch or carrying food across the kitchen or uh, you know something along those lines of of that um where it's not he's not expecting that it's coming and we're gonna say leave it after now because when we accidentally drop something we're gonna say it after we can't say it before we don't know what's happening uh now we're gonna work with our toys uh working on a toy leave it oh oh good boy Thing like I need a camera person so it can like follow me around. Oh, get, 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 get. So now we're working on toys. He's aced. He's aced um, treats. Now we're working on toys. Why do we want to work on toys? Toys is going to be the same as if it were a sock or if it's garbage. Uh, so we we have to start from the beginning and uh, work our way. Yes. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Easy. He's 
doing awesome. And normally they don't do this awesome in the beginning in BTW. Normally it takes a couple of times. By a couple, I mean like a couple hundred. So he's doing amazing. So here I have a toy that he can pick up. If he wants to pick this up and run with it, he's physically able to. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. We're just setting it up as a training session. He doesn't know that though. Okay, so we're gonna get into our weights and stays. It was what I, uh, oh, uh, I almost gagged there. That was a bad one. 
It's like, I feel like it's baking. Did you move somewhere? Did I miss some? Holy smokes, dude. This cheese is just tearing you up. We're gonna work on our, hmm. We're gonna work on our weight versus stays again. Wait. Touch. Yes, very good. Very good. So a uh, brief overview here. Wait is call the dog to you. Stay, I'm going to go back to him to release him. Stay. Good. What did I, what am I doing? I should have started there. Let's try that again. Stay. Good. Your poop is melting my brain. I can't even think straight. Good. Sit. Wait. Touch. Yes, good job. Good boy. I like that he sat there and figured it out. I do remember that. Oh, I legitimately did. I do remember that the last time we, we worked on this, um, touch was, you know, we didn't do too much of it. It was, it was pretty new, pretty new. So he's doing really good for, for it being a, a newer behavior. I'm gonna go a little farther now. Wait. Touch. Yes, good job. Awesome job. That was super, super good. Sweat, sweat up in here. Ooh, it is hot up in here. Let me change this air down. Oh, it's not 75. Why am I sweating? Why am I sweating? Because I moved. God forbid, I have to move three feet. It's rough for me. Uh, so that was really good. Huge problem solving, love that. He was like, what do I do with your hand? And then he figured it out. Now we're gonna see about my stays. You also see that when I'm walking away, now I'm turning my back. I'm not just shuffling um, away from him. Stay. Don't be drinking water. Okay, let's see. 
here. Okay, replenished, replenished. Um, what were we working on? Oh, perfect. Uh, stays and sit and down. Perfect. He did amazing. This is time to doing it. I love, uh, you know, how he's, how he's going. But, uh, not that, not but, like, he's not doing good. I'm about to throw a wrench in here, though. I'm making it harder. You have to think that when he can see me, right here, he sees that I can't, Ren, you can get up, I feel bad. You're, you're being such a good boy. Here, get to it, get to it, get it, get it, get it, good job. Get it, get it, get it. He's like, is this a game? Is this a trick where like, I can't get it? Good job. Here's a ball. Good job, go get it. Go get it, you get to play around for a minute. Oh, this is a piece of a broken toy. We don't want that. Um, when you put him in a stay, and we're walking, you know, away from him forward. He can see us the whole time. And here, especially, is pretty easy because he sees that I can't, I can't go anywhere. There's nowhere I can go. Uh, this is, you know, a fence. This is a wall. This is it. He sees me and he's like, well, she's stuck here. So he's not very, she's not too nervous about, uh, you know, where I'm going. Good job. So the choice to stay is easier. Um, I'm not trying to take away from how he was doing. He's doing amazing. But since he's doing amazing, I'm gonna make it harder. It's a lot more difficult when you can no longer see the person to still decide to not move. To still decide to not move and keep your butt down. So what we're gonna work on is work on um, around stays. I'm going to get this, uh, no. I guess this really chewed up ball that needs to go in the garbage. I don't know if I still have this. This is Ren. There's Ren. Ren's right there. So it would look like. Ren, you can't play with yourself. Ooh, that sounded bad. I can't be saying these on these videos. I, I need to start censoring myself. Goodness gracious. Me and my potty mouth. Okay. That one's broken. I don't want him to get it and hurt himself. Okay, Ren is this pizza. You're gonna want this pizza when I put it down too. Okay, that's Ren and Ren is sitting. Let's pretend real Ren isn't there. Um, the ideal end behavior would be stay, walk behind the dog, and return back to the front without the dog moving in any part of that walking around. So that that's gonna be the first goal we wanna hit is the small circle around. Uh, it's going to take us steps to get there, and that's okay. The second goal, and actually every goal from then on out, is getting further and further away. So then the circle would be, you know, here. I'm making a bigger circle. It's taking me longer to get back to the front until eventually you could be in a, a field, a food field. I'm trying to, the corn, I don't know. Some, a, a giant field, a giant area you could be in. You could put him in the middle and you could tell him to stay and you could literally walk around the outskirts of that field uh, and he's going to stay there. He knows you're coming back to him to release him. I mean, that's the, I don't, I guess that's not even goal because how many times are you gonna be in a field of food? A food field, what? Sunflower field? A pasture? I think pasture was what I was thinking in my head. But also, this is the desert, so that doesn't work. But, you know, I tried. A for effort there. Okay. Don't be on your bed! Why? Why there? Why there? Okay, only a tiny bit got pee on it. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, just a tiny bit of the front corner. We decided we needed to go pee. But not only do we need to go pee, we needed to pee on the bag, duh. See, that's the only way to do it. I know, I was talking so much and you were getting bored. I'm so sorry. Let's get the cleaner. Oh, it's right here. Let's clean up your peepins. Oh, no, this is poison, so we can't eat this. That will not be good on your insides. Okay, there we go. Perfectly cleaned. Awesome. I realized why it still smells like poop in here. I didn't throw this outside yet. Give me one second. I'll get right back, Ren. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Let's go. In here. Come on. 
come here, come here, come here. Right, good boy. Down, good boy. Ready? Get it, get it, get it. Go 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 get it. Yes, you can have it. Okay. You like it? Thinking about it? Yeah? Good? Yeah, go to your chubbies. Okay. I like that you like those. I'll break them in tiny pieces. All right, so we're gonna practice it. We're gonna see, you know, how we do here. Well, you're making my job really easy because you're doing it perfectly. I get so frustrated when dogs do the right thing. I'm like, come on, let me teach something here. That was literally textbook beautiful. Um, did not care for a second that I was walking around. I love that. We'll try again. treats up real quick just so they can be a good size for him because I'm gonna be doling them out so I want them pretty small these are literally like microscopic he's gonna be mad he's gonna be like excuse me you better pay me of equal value because I am worth way more than that crap okay I know I know I know Taken forever. Oops. Leave it. Good. That was actually a real life situation right there. And I just realized my butt is all up in the camera. Ooh. That is unfortunate. Okay. Here we go. All right. So we're going to amp it up a little bit. Uh, I talked about our phase one. He's already there. Crazy. Did not expect that. Thought we'd be doing this for minimum 15 minutes, um, but no big deal. Way to throw a wrench into my plan, Ren. No, I'm just kidding. He's fine. Stay. I'm going to do a bigger circle now. Good. Good. Stay. Good boy. <laughs> the butter fryer made me so proud. Down. Ah, uh -uh. Try again. Good. Down. Good. Oh, no, you stay down. Good. Very nice. Stay. Good boy. Very good. Get it, get it. Yes, good boy. That is huge. I've ne honestly never seen that um, in the very first time. Yes, good job. Good job. Especially at this age, uh, I've never seen that. Uh, them just be like, yeah, I do it. I do it. Good. Oh, you want to play? Oh, you want to play? You did so good. You deserve the play. You deserve all the play. Good boy. Nice job. 
There, let me explain, let me break down that behavior for you. Go boy, that's go boy. Oh, he's like, you can get this chair me. I'm gonna do that again, actually. This was not even a planned exercise, but this is an important exercise. Um, there, Ren wanted to play, and I'm like, heck yes, we can play. You did amazing, I love it. And then puppies get excited, go, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah! get overly excited and started the biting. As soon as he bit, I stood up and he lost all ability to play with me. He started trying to bark attention me and his barks made me look away from him. When you bark, I don't even know you exist. Mm, you're not here, you're not here. Um, then he started my shoes, so his facial pressure, he moved and then he's like, dang, she's hard to get her attention. And then he quit. As soon as he quit, I let him know, yes, that's what I want, give me that behavior. We're gonna practice that right now. I'm gonna get him amped up. I'm gonna play with him. I'm gonna take these toys away so he doesn't, um, you know, the only choice he really has is to chew on my arms. He's gonna have to really think to not chew, you know, on me. But every time he does, there's gonna be a consequence. The consequence is the loss or the taking away of the fun. <laughs> Good boy. Try again. Try again. Yes. 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 Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Yes. Yes. Ah. Uh -uh. Okay. Ready? Play again. Ready? Play again. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. One of those exercises, you know, it's not. Oh, my arm. Ooh, sick. There's a lot of hair under there. I need to. Boop! Get it. You want that cheese? I know. He's like, I'm done playing. Um, this is one of those exercises. It's not technically obedience, but it's super important to learn for him to learn to not use his teeth. And this is exactly the consequence we want every single time. Oh, he's over it. He's like, I don't want to play with you. That's okay, we can do, we're gonna do more work stuff. Good job. Come you, come you win. Nice job. Ready? Good, nice. 
nice job, is what I'm gonna go into, this seems pretty advanced, it actually is, but he's just smart, so I'm like, why not at this point? I wanna teach him heel. Why I wanna teach him heel, let me get him a ball so I can discuss this. I feel bad when I talk and he's just like standing there waiting for like a, a treat. Why I wanna teach him heel is it's gonna really help assist him with his um, leash walking. Uh, I want to get into leash walking, but first I want to lay the foundations. Ah, ah, good, nice job. I gave him a chance there to make the right decision. He didn't, so I, you know, did the spatial pressure. He did great. Um, but yes, I want to lay the foundation stones perfectly with him before we just, you know, put the leash on and start going. So what I want to do is teach him heel. Heel is a position. Heel is on the left hand side. I wanna teach him that when I say that word, it means find my left side. It doesn't necessarily mean go to my left side and sit. It doesn't mean go to my left side and lay down. All it means, ah, uh -uh. yes, very good. All it means is go to my left side. So say you're on leash and he's pulling ahead. You could use the word heel. Um, you could use that word heel and he would come back to your left side, not ahead of you, come and stand on your left side with you. It's so much easier than just yanking a dog and hoping they understand what that means because more times than not, they don't understand what that means. So I, I like teaching heel uh, to dogs even before I teach leash work. Uh, sometimes, it depends on if the dogs can really handle all that information. Uh, but I think he's going to be doing just fine with this. You are like hell-bent on getting something up there. There's scissors. You can't eat scissors. I will be in so much trouble if you eat a giant pair of scissors. Those scissors are bigger than your body. So good, good choice, good choice. So we're gonna go into teaching heel right now. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate first, uh, no treats, no dog. I mean, he's gonna follow me because he's gonna think I have treats. So remember, it's on our left hand side, so this is heel. So heels, I want you here in this area. How I'm going to start is luring. I'm gonna have the treat in uh, my left hand. I'm going to open up at the same time my left shoulder and my left hip, open him up, bring him back here. And as he comes back here, I'm going to turn here, turn my wrist, bring him to my left side, and release that treat. I'm gonna go one more time really slow without the dog and then I'm gonna show you with uh, Ren. He's sitting so good. You are sitting, you're sitting so good. Here, get some water, Ren. Here, look at water, agua, agua. Very good. Oh, I need some, I am so dehydrated. Water break. Get some water. No, you don't have to, I can force you. He's thinking about it so hard. It's okay if you don't. Okay, no big deal. So again, left side, we're gonna have the treat in our left hand. We're gonna open up our left shoulder and our left hip at the exact same time. So here, my body goes from being straight looking at you to now I'm sideways. And I'm moving the dog back here, turning my wrist, bringing the dog here, rewarding when the dog is in heel position. So I'm going to show you now with a treat. Which one did you like? I think you liked them all. I don't think you really had a preference. So here. we have to get him comfortable with actually luring. There he's like, what kind of trickery is this? Is this that, is this that, leave it, give me, be playing. Ready? Good. Over here, over here. Yes, as soon as he gets in that position, I'm gonna reward him. I'm not saying anything right now, so I'm gonna throw a treat to get him out of position. Good job. Go get it, go get it, go get it. You can have this. Good job, good job, very nice. Um. Oh, uh, the not talking. Um, I, I feel like I say this with every behavior with you guys, but just to reiterate that um, we're not going to add the behavior, add the word into the behavior until we understand the behavior. We're getting the behavior down pretty good uh, in the first place. So we've got to get more treats, and we're going to try some more. Okay. Treat. 
Sweet left hand. Right, let's go. Ready, right? Look what I have. Left leg, left back, uh -huh. come on. Yes, good. Very nice. Very good. Um, our legs are aligned. Good job. I really like that. Very good. I'm going to come this way. Oh, bottom you. Ready? Back, come on. Ah, uh -huh. come on. Come on. Yes, very good. Good job. That's perfect. Perfect. Ready? This way. Come on. Come on. Yes. Good. Yes. Awesome job. So I'm just rewarding as soon as his body comes and is aligned. But ideally, what we're looking for is uh, front paws aligned with your leg. Honestly, right now, I'm going to reward anything close. I don't care if they're crooked or straight right now. We're just getting the idea of being in that spot. Don't go pee on your bag again. Don't do the pee pins on your bag. Ready? Couple more of these. Couple more of these. Ready? Let's go. Yes. Very nice. That was super beautiful. Love you. Ready? Let's go. Come on. Yes. Good. Turn. Good. Very nice. Very nice. I wish I had a camera person so they could like walk around and I didn't have to put my butt in the camera. I'm sure people would appreciate that. Ready? Good job. All right. Good. Uh, for Ren, uh, you notice when I was practicing it, I was like, open your body and turn sideways. For um, Ren, I don't have to do that as much because he's smaller. My dog is probably like seven Wrens lined up. So in order to get my dog to have room to be able to fully turn around, I have to extend my arm as far back as it goes. So my leg has to reach here to bring him back. Ren, luckily, is not as long. We don't need as much room to turn him around. So you might not necessarily have to do the dramatic, uh, you know, turn around like uh, I said in the beginning, just because he's littler. You can kind of do a little one and bring him back. But I just want you to know this because say, you know, you get another dog along, uh, you know, down the line or whatever. And you're like, okay, let's teach it heel. We taught Ren heel. And you know, this is how we did it. And say it's a bigger dog. It's not going to work. You're, you're going to be messing up every time if you go like this. Uh, the bigger the dog, the bigger the step back. We have to open up. I know I'm not giving you treats. I'm so mean. I'm such a mean lady because I'm talking. I'm talking to your mom and dad and telling them yes. And you're like, no, give me the treats, lady. Uh-huh. So, yes, the idea there is I like teaching it um, for bigger dogs. So that way people understand that you know the space uh, really does make a difference so that way again if you're doing this on another dog you're going to be able to figure it out Ren, i know ready let's go yes good very nice very nice that's beautiful i'm adding the word now because that was gorgeous so i'm going to say it prior like all the activities we've been doing heel yes Good job. Been rewarding as soon as we get to that left side. Heel. Good. Ooh, your little teeth. Good job. That's a good boy. Your little point, po po wow. Pointy, pointy, pokey. I think it was a mixture of pokey and pointy. Your little uh, needle teeth. They're like little needles. Oh, you're already in heel. I walked right to heel. Good. Very nice. Very good. I actually rewarded that way too early. Ready? Heel. Yes. Good. Perfect heel position here. Perfect heel position. I'm going to do one more and then we're going to go into leash stuff. Heel. Very good. Wow. Smart boy. Super smart boy. I love that a lot. Oh, let's see if your leash is in your bag. Um, 
This is backup bag. Uh, I know you had left the good job the bag in the the other car. So I know this is not uh, you know his typical stuff. I know that's in his bag, but it's super important for to have the right the correct tools for the job. Here I'm gonna put toys. This is gonna be a talking a little talking uh, spree. Okay, get your toy. Get your toy. Get your toy. Go get it. Go check it out. Yes, good boy. So it's important to have the right tools for the job that you're doing. Imagine if you are uh, fixing a car and I gave you a hair dryer. You would be like, what in God's name am I supposed to do with this? The odds of you being able to fix that car with that hair dryer to fix uh, the problem or whatever's going on are slim. Maybe you could do something, but are very slim. I don't want to say never because that's, you know, nothing's impossible but it would make it really difficult for you. Uh, we have tools for specific jobs to make the job easier. Uh, the same goes for leash walking. It, it's all the same. We need to have the uh, correct tools for the, the job. You can't have treats right now. We're doing playtime. You gotta go play with your toys. Look at, he's like, I wanna work. He's literally trying to find these treats. Look at all the toys. There's fun toys here. He's giving me the saddest eyes. Why do you have that sad face? You're gonna make me give you a treat for doing nothing. Don't you give me those sad eyes. You'll give me happy eyes. Um, so having the right tools, uh, walking the same, we need the right tools for walking or you're never gonna succeed. You're gonna have a dog that pulls all the time and a dog that hates uh, going out on a walk. So this right here, um, I picked this out and I'm like, you, yeah, you like this? No, this is not a toy. Everything else on the floor is a toy. I picked this up and I'm like, holy smokes. I could do a freaking. look at this, look at this. Oh, look at that flexing right there. Whoo, whoo, this is a workout. Um, I am not, I don't, ow, my fingers are trapped. Ow, okay, okay. I am not a, you know, what am I, what was I going there? I don't know where I was going with that. But basically, uh, if I am having trouble, I'm not having trouble, but if I feel uncomfortable picking this up because of the weight of it, I can only imagine, you know, what he is going to be feeling carrying this on his body, carrying this around his neck. Uh, that does is a lot of weight. So basically, all of that is to say, that this would not be the correct tool for the job. I would never use this on him. Uh, also, now that I'm talking about this, I do remember the other leash you had in the other bag, a retractable leash. I'm going to, I mean, I can't change, you know, what you're doing. And I, I some people love them. I'm going to tell you why I absolutely hate them. Because not once, but twice, I got severely injured one time. I almost lost my finger, my whole finger. It got wrapped around and the dog went. So yeah, literally almost lost my finger. And one time, uh, that was a long, 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 long time ago. Uh, most recently, um, and now most recently is like six years ago, but still most recent, wrapped around my ankle. Dog ran around me really quick and then boom, pulled really tight and those things give you like rope burns. Um, so it's, they're not safe at all. Um, people like that they have more freedom, but more freedom means less control of the environment that you have. If he's 30, and it's not even, it has nothing to do with Ren. Uh, you could have the best dog in the world, but you can't control the environment. You don't know if another dog is gonna come run out. You don't know if a car is gonna be turning that corner. You don't know what's there. So it's important that we take as much control of the environment as we can. And how we do that is by having a leash of a standard size. Uh, the average leash is six feet. You know, you have six feet to explore and come around, but also I'm able to control the situation if need be. Imagine you're walking around a corner, he's on a flexi lead or a retractable leash, and he turns the corner well before you do. Guess what? You don't know that there's a loose dog on the other side of that corner that's already bitten him. You've had no control, you had no idea because he made that turn first. Uh, we are, I, I don't like using the word 
dominant and and you know dominant and submissive and and all that uh because it, it's they're not they're not words we use with you know each other why would we use it with our dogs i like using the word we are their protectors that's what our job is our job is to nurture them and keep them alive and keep them safe well we can't do that if we can't control uh certain aspects of the environment so um i am super big on having a six foot leash. So if something were to happen, you know, you only have six feet to get there. You don't have to run 30 feet in front of you or, uh, you know, turn a corner and something happens, you're right there. Uh, so it's a safety thing. It is not that I don't want my dogs to have fun and explore. That's not it at all. I want my dogs to live the most, you know, fruitful, best life they can but I also want my dogs to be safe. Uh, safety is above all number one. Number one is safety. I do everything for everyone's safety before I think of anything else. That's number one on my checklist. Is this safe? Is this, how can we, if not, how can we make this safe? So the situation I would say, is this safe? This, no for heavy reason. Oh, my arms, like, it's a workout. I don't have to go to the gym now. Just kidding, I don't go to the gym. <laughs> um, uh, and then the flexi lead because we cannot, you know, control the environment. You like this. Ah, he's like, I like this toy. So that, uh, all that being said and whatnot, so I'm going to put that away. Ooh, your bowl is in there right here. And here I'm going to use a, a slip lead right now. Uh, this is just cause this is what we have here. So here, good job. Uh, I'm going to get some treats. So I don't know, uh, -uh. leave it. Yes, good. Every time he puts his mouth on it, I'm going to redirect him with a leave it. Yes, good. I want him to learn to ignore this. This means nothing to him. Good. Right here and moving it around. Good. Oops, you dropped it. He's like, oh, I get treats for doing nothing. Oh, okay. Good. I'm gonna get up now because he's very comfortable with me being down. Is it too comfortable? Yes, very good. You're walking very nice. Yes, very good. Very nice. Okay. Good job. Very good boy. Very good boy. So as long as he ignores that leash, he's getting treated. Good, I made it really cool. I made it like a, a snake, shook it around. He's like, oh, that's, that's awesome. Good job. So I'm not putting any pressure on it, zero pressure. The, the idea is not uh, to introduce the pressure or anything. The idea right now, the exercise is ignore the leash. So here you see, good. You, I'm moving it, uh, being all sorts of cuckoo and crazy. So he's feeling this thing jumping around. And also keep good learning to ignore it. This means nothing to you. Come in. Yes, good job. Very good boy. Awesome job. Awesome job. Uh, short and sweet. We always want to make first introductions, especially to new tools, short and sweet. Good job. Super proud. Super proud. Okay, we're going to do a, a summing up, I guess we can call this, a summary. So we worked on a lot of impulse control stuff today. Waits and stays and leave it. So you know, we're amping all of those up. We're moving to new levels of each of those. Uh, really wanna work on those. You cannot practice impulse control enough. Impulse control is hard and it's hard for me as a adult human. So I can only imagine for these puppies in living in a world where they don't understand you know, a lot of things that this is extremely difficult and he's doing amazing. So definitely keep practicing those. Uh, we added in heel, uh, just learning heel. Take those steps and just reward um, as you know he's he's doing it. Then uh, right now is what I want you to do is clip the leash on and just have it on. If he's not biting it, he gets a, a treat. That simple. If he is, we are going to redirect him and say. Do you want, you can use leave it and say, do you want the treat or do you want your leash? Like you have to just, 
you have to decide what you uh, what you want here. Uh, but he did really good. I'm super proud of him. Every time it's, it's better and better and better. And that's what I'm looking for. Um, Progress isn't always a straight hill up, and I don't want to not. I don't want to like jinx it, but I'm knock on wood. Um, his has been his so far. His path is straight on up. So let's keep it that way. Let's keep it going great. He is doing awesome. You guys have any questions? Definitely let me know.